Hi guys, I'm going to demonstrate a parametric uh, fabrication of thermosteel walls using uh, variables. What I just did is I started off, generated the first panel, and I'll use that one then to uh, produce the remaining, which means that I'm going to adjust uh, roughly 66 variables to create uh, each panel the way we want it to be, pan to be made. Uh, first, I'm going to start with a gable end. made my first panel roughly the size and shape that I want. Now I'm going to copy it and adjust the parameter for the next panel. I'm going to adjust the offset from using the, the markers. Uh, in this case, I'm going to start my next panel 24 inches from the left side of the wall, where the wall starts. In order to create the gable and the, the pitch, I'm changing the left and right, the heights of the left and right sides. In this case, it's a 412 pitch. And you can see as the width of the wall adjusts, uh, the number of studs follows. Get a little sneak peek of a traveler sheet being generated as well. Now we'll start up an opening that has a header, uh, which means I need a top notch. In this case, the top notch will be on the far right side of the panel to receive the header that bears on top of it. And then my right side of the wall will now be 96 inches tall, combined with the top notch properties creates uh, this shape rather than a pitched roof like a gable end.
And I'm going to drop back. Notice that we're starting our wall with a, with a tongue and groove panel. Instead, we want to change that to a no lap left. But I realize I changed the wrong one. Back and select this panel. Get a no lap left. And LL for no lap left. the sill panels now, the panels that go under the window opening. creating the right side of the opening now. Fix my left and right heights, swap them. And create my header. As I'm going, it's generating a, a bottom plan view and a top plan view. Uh, in this case, I've got lots of lines over top of each other, so I'm going to try to clean that up a little. Uh, this upper, the header panel, I only want to see that on my top plan, so I'm going to take it off of the bottom plan. so that it no longer shows up on the bottom. These two panels I don't want to have on my top plan. It's a lot less congested now. I can see 
by my header. I need to take away my lap on both sides. on my numbers. Take a look at the traveler sheets that are being generated at the same time. Just a quick, quick overview. four. I mean, the sills line up. See that at the same time it's generating a three-dimensional model of the wall as well. Now I'll make a bean pocket. Add an extra piece of steel beside the bean pocket. Extra steel can be on the interior, ex exterior, or both interior and exterior.
slide it over to be right beside the main pocket. See that it's on the interior and exterior. Change that to interior, exterior. All at the same time, it's being updated on our traveler sheets. Let's clean up our numbering here. To give this panel its own sheet. Realize that number is already used, so make a new number. I can work on it from here. I want to change this panel stud spacing. If I want to add a piece of extra steel to this panel as well. Put an opening in this panel from here. So the traveler sheets are recording gauge of steel, thickness of the panel. They are also telling me the square foot of panel, keeping count of studs, their cut length. are updating at the same time. 